Inspired by historical events and characters, this work of fiction was designed, developed, and produced by a multicultural team of various religious faiths and beliefs. Hello everyone and welcome to Stephen Plays Assassin's Creed 2. I'm pumped for this. And you know why I'm pumped for this game? You guys. About a year ago, I decided that I wanted to jump into the Assassin's Creed series because it's been around forever. It's very critically acclaimed. People love these games, and I have never played them. So I decided that I would start at number one. And so many people, so many of you guys, were like, skip number one. It's not even good. You know, they didn't really get going until two, and two is fantastic. Well, I did play one. And I really, really, really liked one. People said that I wasn't going to enjoy it, and I loved it. I thought it was a ton of fun. So knowing that... Knowing what your opinion of, uh, of one was, and how you said that one wasn't even that great, and I, I, I would really enjoy two, I'm pumped for two, because if I loved one, two's going to be fantastic. Um, now, first and foremost, um, you don't, you, it's not necessary that you have played the first game or watched the first game to understand the events that are going on in this. Uh, the storylines, from what I understand, are going to be connected in some way, but it's also a standalone game, so it's not you know, absolutely needed. However, if you would like to watch the LP I did of the first game, I will put it on screen now and also in the description. So if you want to watch them in order, you certainly can. Personally, I loved the first game, thought it was a ton of fun, but apparently the second one's going to be even better. Without further ado, let's jump into Assassin's Creed 2. My name is Desmond Miles. I'm a prisoner of war. A war I never knew existed. Waged by two groups I never thought were real. Templars and assassins. The Animus showed me the truth. The things I've seen, the things I've been. A thousand years of history flowing through my veins, brought to life by this machine. They're using it, using me to search for something. Call it the Apple. It's an artifact, one of many so called pieces of Eden. The Templars collect them. It's how they stay in power. And if the Templars get their hands on another one, everything will change. They want to make us all their slaves. When they first brought me here, I was afraid of what would happen if I tried to fight back. Now? Now I'm afraid of what will happen if I don't. But I can't do it alone. And maybe I don't have to. I met someone. Her name is Lucy. I think she's on my side. She's gone now. She was taken away by that bastard Warren Vidic and his Templar masters. I don't know what will happen to her, or what'll happen to me. All I know is I need to get out of here. And I need to do it soon. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. Oh, and I am controlling it. Press any button. Okay. We have to go. Lucy, where have you been? Why did they- Now! Man, Lucy got, like, her hair changed or something. Anyway, uh, okay, so this is, this is a direct continuation. We are controlling the same character, but that's yes. good. Um, if it's not already obvious, Assassin's Creed 2, just like Assassin's Creed 1, is a blind LP, so I don't know what's going on. Um, but it's nice that all of that work that I put into the first game uh, is going to be of some use. Get in. What's with the blood? Are you okay? Look, we have maybe ten minutes, maybe, before they figure out what I've done. If we're not out of here and on the road before then... Wait, we're leaving? Desmond, I promise I'll answer all of your questions. Later. But right now, I need you to just shut up and do what I say. So please, get in the Animus. All right. All right. Press any button. Will do. Oh man, it's like I never left. Well, I actually, technically, it's Desmond. I never have left. Subject 17, Desmond Miles. That's me. And we got some other stuff. Subject 16, Confidential. Searching for relevant memory data. I wonder if this is also the load screen, because that would be cool. Uh, accessing memory. Oh snap, we're going in. It is 
a boy. Oh, my love. Mi dispiace. I, I was at the bank when they told me. Did I miss it? Am I too late? Give him here. Giovanni. Shh, my love. It will be all right. Tu sei un auditore. Sei un combattente. Perciò, combatti. Listen to him. A fine set of lungs. And what shall we call him, my love? Ezio. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Get up. Let's go. What? Yeah, well, I'm gonna need a second. There isn't time, Desmond. We have to leave. Okay. I was a baby. I pressed A to kick my legs. It's weird as a baby simulator. Also, there's, there's, is there no run? Oh, there we go. Right triggers run. Hey, checkpoint reached. We're really getting out of here, huh? Okay. Uh, so there's Sturgo's nothing this got way. Some cool. Fucked up interior decorators. <laughs> Stay close. Hey, you're not supposed to be up here. Open this door. I'm calling it in. We have a breach in the research wing. I repeat, there's been a breach in the research wing. What are you doing, That's Desmond? Wrong. Follow me. I'm right That's behind it. you. There they are! Don't let them get away! Snap! Man, Lucy kicks butt! Also, there's enormous oh, amounts of blood. Also, it's really cool that we finally get to see what was outside of that room. We just had to play through an entire game to get to that point where we could figure that out. Here? Woo! Man. What about the cameras? I rigged them to loop old footage. How do you think I managed to hide all your nighttime snooping from Abstergo? You're good. So I've been told. But they're on to us now. We need to hurry. <laughs> they're on to us. You're covered in blood and have beat people up. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that it's likely that they're on to us. Careful. Okay. We need to get to that elevator on the other side of the room. Follow my lead. But keep an eye out for security. I'd rather avoid a fight. Man, what a boring looking office space. Christ almighty. Okay. So, I'm behind you. Is that an animus? Are these all animus? Stay with me. I'm right with you. Okay. What the... How many of them are there? Hold on. Jesus, is this is creepy. Is I? What do you think, Lucy? Lucy, what do they need with all of them? Desmond, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Please. Alright, we made it. Although I could have punched fuck. him. I thought this card would work. It must be on a separate system, and I don't have the code. Wait. How did you do that? I don't know. Let's go. Wow. I am the Rain Man. It's always something. What was that in the Animus? Subject 16? Ezio, Audi, Audi something? I think we've been wrong all along. That's why we need to get out of here. Vidic and the Templars, they're only part of the problem. What do you mean? I'll explain when we get there. Get where? The balls is going on. Oh, that's a lot of guys. It's a lot of guys. Oh God! Uh, how do I? They didn't teach me how to like play the game, so it's been a while, man. It's been a while since I've since I played this. I know that X is punch, and I can punch pe the snot out of people, but I don't remember how to dodge. Oh! Let's see. Uh, ow! God! Thanks, Lucy. Man, Lucy is powerful. Holy crap. She's like... freaking. I was gonna say Elena Fisher. And yeah, she, she kinda got the Elena Fisher thing going on a little bit, but... 
She's uh, more of a badass in the lane, I think. God! Ow! I'm getting beat up from both sides! Okay. Alright, I don't have a health bar or anything, so I shouldn't be too concerned. I'm running! I'm with you. I'm suddenly reminded of Fighting Force, which is an old PlayStation 1 and N64 game. It's for your own protection. Oh, man. We're almost there. Man, where the balls are we going? <laughs> I mean, it's great that we're getting out of there. I just don't have a clue what's going on. Also, I wonder if Ubisoft had all of this planned when they worked on the first Assassin's Creed. I have no idea. Thanks for that. It was great. Shoving the trunk, bouncing around. Loved this it. way. So, gonna tell me what's going on now? There was a reason for the escape, Desmond. Figures. We need your help. For what? Another treasure hunt through time? Abstergo's gonna replace their Apple of Eden. The map your ancestor found guarantees it. The other assassins... They'll do what they can, where they can, but... What? What is it? We're losing this war, Desmond. The Templars are too powerful. And every day, more of us die. I still don't see how I fit into things. We're going to train you. Turn you into one of us. What? No. No, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this, and even if I was, it would take months. Years, even. No. Not with the Animus. Not with the bleeding effect. But I'm just one guy. Sometimes, that's all you need. So that's why you found him. My ancestor. What was his name? Ezio? If you can follow in his footsteps, you'll learn everything he did, just like he did. Years of training, absorbed in a matter of days. You broke me out of Abstergo and brought me here just to make me an assassin? Look, there's more to it than that, but it'll have to wait. Trust me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. Really? You're sure? I thought you'd be happy about this. Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was going to convince you to do this. Save it. After what those Templar bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. Thank you. This is all a little weird, but okay. I'm with you. Side to side to side to side. <clears throat> Lucy! You made it! God, it's been so long. Seven years. Can you believe it? Indeed. Welcome back. Ah, so this must be the infamous Subject 17. Desmond Miles, was it? Who are you? I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice to meet you, Desmond. Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is precious. Doubly so these days. We've got everything set up and ready, Lucy. Just say the word and we'll get going. Here, I brought you something. A parting gift from Abstergo. Whoa! The memory core! This is amazing! With their data, things are gonna go a lot faster. I'll get to work on merging the code. Okay. Where the balls are we? Hey, Desmond. What's up? Just wondering what your role is in all this. I take care of Baby. It's my job to keep her up and running. Baby? You mean the Animus? Actually, I prefer Animus 2.0, since Baby's twice as awesome as anything you'll find at Abstergo. The Templars might have deeper pockets than us, but they've got no ambition, no passion, no competitive edge. That's why, even with all their resources, anything they can do, I can do better. Faster, too. Anyway, take a seat when you're ready, and we can get started. I just need to make a few more adjustments. Neat. Pleasure meeting you. Lucy? Hey, listen. I just wanted to say thank you. And that uh, I'm sorry. Sorry? Yeah, you know, before. Everything at Abstergo. It was just... I wasn't ready. It's okay. No. Going through all that. Knowing that the Templars still exist. What they're planning. What's done is done, Desmond. You're here now, and that's what matters. Aw, oh, thank you. Where's that other guy? There you are. Hey, fella, I will walk slowly to you because the run button has been taken away from me. What's all this stuff for? 
This stuff, Desmond. Oh, this stuff is nothing special, really, this stuff. It's just the stuff that keeps our entire operation from falling apart, really. It requires a great deal of concentration to keep it all moving, so you'll forgive me if I don't have time to play meet and greet. Sean's in charge of maintaining our knowledge archives. It's like a digital library. He'll be riding shotgun with me while you're in the Animus. So if you come across anything of note, people, places, events, etc., he'll create database entries you can consult for additional information. Yeah, it's not just databases, though. I also provide tactical support for the other assassins. You know, Desmond, the ones who are out there, actually doing stuff, risking their lives, little things like that. You don't have to be a jerk about it. Jeez, man. This is a pretty cool setup. I just want to know, like, where the balls are they hiding? Because this place is gigantic. This is a really big warehouse. How are they not... How did, like, no one find them? Also, what is down that... that hallway? Is it okay if I just, like, chill this way? Because they, they don't let me, like, friggin' run. Oh, until I get in, until I get through here. Once I get through here, I can run, which is very odd. And there's like, I can actually explore a little bit, which is neat. I just can't, from what I can uh, understand, I can't open any doors, which is a little lame. I'm gonna go down here and just see what I can see, just see where this place is, what's around. I can come all the way back out here, all the place I just walked up. Let me run down here and see if there's anything of interest down here. Here's the car that I got out of. That's kind of neat. Otherwise, I don't really see anything. And as soon as I get back into the room... Yes, I am forced to walk once again. Alright, um, we're a little under time, but I know that when we get into the Animus, all sorts of stuff's going to happen. So I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. The story has been set in motion for Assassin's Creed 2. There's a lot of people that have been clamoring for this. Also, I apologize that I haven't been able to get this out... Uh, in the last few days, because we took a huge, huge road trip. The videos are currently being released over on Steam Vlog, if you want to check that out. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but Assassin's Creed 2 is now in motion, and you will not have to wait for the next episode. Episode 2 will be out tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more Steam Plays. Assassin's Creed 2. Christina! Who's there? Me! Oh, it's you. I should have known. May I come in? Fine, but only for a minute. A minute is all I need. Indeed. Well, wait, uh, that came out wrong. <laughs>